We should have ignition. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy rocket with NROL-71 for the National Reconnaissance Office. Right, vehicles beginning the pitch over maneuver. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Now 20 seconds into flight, seeing good chamber pressure across all three R68A engines. Now 30 seconds into flight. And core boosters beginning to throttle down to the partial thrust mode as expected. Core boosters reach partial thrust. Now 46 seconds into flight. Chamber pressures continue to look good across all three R68 engines. Core booster in partial thrust mode, port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode. Now coming up on one minute into flight. Now passing one minute, 10 seconds. All three RS-68A engines continue to look good. Vehicle's now passing max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And vehicle is now past Mach 1, Delta 4 is now supersonic. Now one minute, 30 seconds into flight. Chamber pressures on all three RS-68A engines continue to look good. Core booster in the partial thrust mode, port and starboard boosters in the full thrust mode. One minute, 40 seconds in. Launch vehicle is now 12 miles in altitude. Traveling at almost 1,600 miles per hour. Chamber pressures on all three engines continue to look good. Coming up on two minutes into flight. Second stage attitude control system press valve has been opened. System now pressurizing the flight levels. Response looks good. Now two minutes, 10 seconds in. Chamber pressures on all three engines continue to look good. Vehicle's now gone to closed loop guidance. Vehicle body rates look good. Now two minutes, 30 seconds in. Just over three minutes now remaining in the boost phase of flight. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now passing two minutes, 42 seconds in. The Delta IV rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of almost 5,000 pounds per second. Two minutes, 55 seconds in. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Now at three minutes, vehicle is now passing Mach 5. About 20 seconds remaining. And I'm sorry, 30, correction. <clears throat> vehicle body rates continue to look good. Chamber pressures on the RS-68 engines continue to look good. Now coming up on three minutes, 20 seconds into flight. Just over 30 seconds now remaining until strap-on booster engine cutoff. Three minutes, 30 seconds in, just over two minutes remaining in the boost phase of flight. Vehicle is now passing Mach 10. Chamber pressures on the R60A en engines continue to look good. And port and starboard booster engines now throttling down to partial thrust in preparation for, for cutoff as expected. And we have cutoff of the strap-on engines, standing by for separation. And we have good indication of separation of the port and starboard strap-on booster. Core booster is now throttled back up to the full thrust mode. Engine response looks good. Four minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the core booster in the full thrust mode looks good. Upper stage lock system has begun boost phase chill down sequence to begin thermal conditioning of the upper stage engine. Now one minute remaining in the boost phase of flight. And upper stage fuel system has begun boost phase chill down. 
core booster continues to look good in the full thrust mode. Coming up on five minutes into flight, a little over 30 seconds now remaining until BECO. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Chamber pressure continue to look good on the core booster. Now five minutes, 20 seconds, standing by for core booster throttle down shortly. Core booster is now throttling down as expected, standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. Nozzle extension is now deploying. We have pre-start on the RL-10, standing by for ignition on the RL-10. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. Chamber pressure continue to look good on the RL-10 engine. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately 12 minutes, 6 seconds.